Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Today we are going to do 50 Shades of Yellow update and yes, I'm getting up just in the nick of time. I knew I had this coming and I completely forgot to get it done and I apologize. Um, I have some self tanning drops on today so I am not going to be wearing face makeup because I really want to get that tan in i need to look like i have a bit of life in me and look at my skin right now it does not look like i have life in me so um, i'm looking for some tan <laughs> i'm tired of winter already okay let's go ahead and talk about this so it's a fantastic ladies collab with monthly updates it was created by jessica amanda and cc and it runs from april 15th of 2023 to april the 15th of 2024 and it is shades of yellow and gold and i'm really excited i did really enjoy picking stuff out for this however i've gotten down to a point where it's mostly like powder makeup and i know i'm not going to use up a lot of this stuff so i'm just trying to decide do I want to keep going? Do I want to continue with this? So let's talk about the things that I have in here and maybe we can make those decisions together. <laughs> so the first item I have is the Kosas Concealer in the shade 03W and it's a mini. And I'm not sure if you can, yeah, you can totally see that. There, there's like this much product or less in here. And in all honesty, when I pull the, um, the applicator out of the packaging, I still get a little bit on the doe foot, but when I shined inside of here with my phone, there was no product in the center. It was just all caked on the sides. So part of me is thinking, take out the stopper and just go ham on this. Um, but then I would leave all the other things in my collection that I want to use just for last. And I do want to still continue using some of these concealers. Um, but that is my tentative goal so and I mean the stuff that I have in project 10 uses it doesn't have to get done immediately um so I might actually go hard on that let me know in the comments what you think I should do uh okay so the next item I have is the Bosha po, po pro retinol treatment and that is right here right this is the yeah pro retinol treatment now of course retinol is very stripping of your skin you need to make sure you wear sunscreen with this so I've stopped using this because um my skin is just at its weakest in this dead of winter and stripping any kind of anything off of it just makes me have a reaction a skin sensitivities and I'm just not about that so I have stopped using this for a while I can't even tell where I'm at but I'm pretty sure I'm around this general area and there's a lot left to go like I would not get this done probably by the end of April or the 15th of April so um there's this one that would still be going and it's going to take me, like I said, a while to use that. Next is the ColourPop Eyeliner in the shade Cross, which I have a little bit on today in the inner corner of my eyes. And I enjoyed applying this. I thought it was really easy to use. It is incredibly bright. Like if you want yellow, this is yellow, right? It really stands out against all the black, all the dark of my hair. The background is kind of shady. It just stands out like a neon strip. And I'm totally here for it. But... Um, I still have a ton left and there's no way that I would finish that by the end of the project. So again, another item that would just kind of hang around for uses really. And let's be honest, I haven't used it that much if it's already January and <laughs> I barely used it uh, and there's so much of it left. The next one I have is the Melt Gel Eyeliner in Estrella. I have not used this one either and it's kind of clumping. So it's not exactly the most enjoyable thing to use. And also, I don't have a reason to wear gold gel eyeliner. This was an impulse purchase. I was like, oh my God, look at the packaging. Look at the color. I want it all over my eyes. Would I use this for like an all over one eyeshadow color? Maybe. But I would have to be very daring <laughs> and in that mood to do that. I feel like my eyeshadow looks are changing. Um, and I don't know. As nice as this is for an eyeliner, I feel like it's starting to dry up and everything. And this just does not budge. Like, it's so good. It does not budge. But do I need it in my collection? I don't know. So we'll see about that. Then we have the Makeup a Murder Pigments in Neon and Pastel, which are right here. I currently have the Neon one that's on my eyes in the inner corner. And you can see these also bounce right off 
the background and my shirt and everything it's just so bright but you can see this is what I have just kind of stamped over top of that eyeliner and I really like it I do prefer the pastel one over top because it just dims it down ever so slightly but I mean you can see how much of the pastel one I've used as opposed to the neon but um at least I'm getting a lot of use out of those. I'm actually getting way more use than I anticipated getting, and I'm excited about that. Next, we have the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Gloss, and this one I have completed. I have scraped and scraped and scraped, and there's nothing that I can do to get a full use out of this, and I'm not going to take one of those spatulas and get it all goopy with goo. Uh, hard pass. So this one is now done. So excited. That can go into my empties. And I'm just going to move these over here. Um, then we have the Ulta Pressed Setting Powder in the shade Banana. And this one is like 2015. It's like old. It's old, it's old, it's old. And um, as much as I enjoy this powder, I have so much like powder in my collection that I'm debating parting with this because it's so old. It doesn't give me a reaction or anything. It's beautifully finely milled. <sighs> Let me just see. It doesn't have a really gross hard smell or anything like that so and it feels like amazing on the skin it feels so soft like silk it feels like silk in the pan um but my skin is so dry <laughs> it's so dry right now oh my gosh um but you can see i used this a lot when it was being like scraped out to go into my pen that palette so i may keep this for that but i also have so much other setting powders but i'll hang on to it for a while it does clasp nicely closed and like i said it doesn't break me out it doesn't smell or anything so yeah i'm not going to declutter that just yet the next item i have is the mac Pruenza schuler ocean city ombre blush this one i will be pulling out of this project because it's going to go into another project and this one is so gorgeous you can see the oops you can see the yellow yellow on the packaging and it's just absolutely gorgeous and stunning oh my god um but this one i need to get some more use on so i am going to be pulling it out of this project and putting it into another project so you will still see me using this it literally looks like i've never touched this it looks brand spanking new even though i've used it multiple times so that just tells you like you don't need a lot oh my gosh it's just it's so beautiful but it's like getting old and it like oh it's so gorgeous okay i gotta stop i'm just all over the place then we have the matt Corenza schuler um no it's not Corenza schuler it's the matte bronze bronzing powder i was reading the same line <laughs> and clearly you can see the yellow on this one but it's matte bronze bronzing powder from mac and i love this one it's really good but again really 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 old and it's starting to feel meh around the edges <laughs> it's really gorgeous though like super beautiful i really enjoy this so it's not going anywhere but it's really like i've never seen mac swatch like that before so it's because i put lotion <laughs> i'll explain in a minute um the makeup a murder crime scene tape do i have it right here yes i do hang on i brought this to vegas and i used it a ton of times when i was in vegas last year in august and i had so much fun using this and creating looks using this but i haven't used it since and i don't know how much i'm going to use it it just looks like little crime scene makeup a murder crime scene tape it's so cute but like it's, it was mostly a gimmick and I have got a lot of cool looks out of it and I definitely will continue to use it when I'm trying to do stuff with tape but it is very very tacky and it rips your skin you have to put it on your skin first and then pull it off so it gets rid of that tackiness because it just rips your skin right off but that one will go back into my collection okay so then we have the purity ultralight moisturizer which is right here and as you can see, I've started using it. I have a good chunk gone in this. So I'm going to continue. I've only just started using it in January. And I'm really excited to have started on this. It smells delightful. It's very light on the skin. It is an ultra light moisturizer with vitamins and antioxidants. And let's see, what does it say here? Um, well, that's all it says. Use in the morning, evening, clean, dry skin. That's all. Nothing special. Just it's it's wonderful, though. I really enjoy this a lot. 
Um, then we have the Saint Tropez Self Purity Tan. No, Self Tan Purity. <laughs> so of course you can see the yellow on the bottom. It's like a yellow tint, and I haven't used this at all, not once not at all and I'm, I want to put it on my legs but I have meetings that I have to go to and I can't have patchy skin and I don't want to use a mitt right now so um I'm not going to use this right now but maybe after all my meetings then we have the super goop play everyday spf now I was going to get this done in January for this update but I have not been using my retinol and therefore not been using my SPF, which I should be using my SPF no matter what anyway. But because I didn't finish it in 2023, I was all pouty and stopped using it. <laughs> I'm being totally like open right there, but this has like less than one use in it. I'm not kidding you. Like literally one or uh, maybe one and a half uses. So I am going to get this done tomorrow or to, like the next day. And this one will be in my empties for the end of January. So that's awesome. But also like, I'm just annoyed with myself because it could have been totally completed for this update. Next is the MAC Botanic Panic Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is where we're getting into some of the eyeshadows that I'm barely using. And this is one of them. This one I have only used once in this entirety of it, this project. Since April of 2023, I have used this eyeshadow palette once and I think I've decided to declutter it. I love this eyeshadow palette. I think it has absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Like, oh my God, are you kidding me? This is like making me want to keep just for the shade. Oh, it's so pretty. But I'm like... I'm not using it. I don't know if I will use it. I have that shade in like so many things, but it's so pretty. Ugh. So I don't know. If I don't touch this by for sure by the end of the project, I'm going to get rid of it. So that tells me I need to use it or it's going to go by. Um, then we have the yellow and gold eyeshadow singles. Okay, so I am obsessed with these. These are so much fun. I Every time I come on here and talk about these, it looks like nothing in the pan, but like these are so much fun. I hope you can see some of the shifts. They're absolutely beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, the only one I'm not super loving is this. This is a MAC one, but the can see the bottom magnet is just kind of like stuck in there oh there we go it's gorgeous gold and I'll swatch that for you guys I mean it's beautiful but it's like will that show up on my eyes it's like no so I think I'm going to declutter that one right now because I don't have like it's oh it's so pretty on my fingertip like it looks like it would be absolutely stunning as an inner corner but then you see it here and it's like it looks like jaundice so I'm just gonna part with it because I'm not using it in comparison to the other eyeshadows <clears throat> that are in here I'm not using it so I'm gonna part with that shade <coughs> and I don't have water but these other ones are like shine by SD um Terra Moons, Give Me Glow, and Cleona, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> but these are all the ones, and they're so gorgeous, and I love them so much. And this one is, this one and this one are probably my favorite too, and they're both Shine by SD. They're all just so gorgeous. So these ones I love, and I'll keep. And I want to feel like that about my entire collection. I don't just want to keep things just to have things. I want to just keep what I really love and want to use. <clears throat> I am so sorry okay we have the Tarte face palette I have been talking all day you guys I'm sorry <clears throat> this is why I try and do these on the weekend but I have the Tarte face palette in off the cuff and this is incredibly old I have not used this in a while because I have so many other um, blushes that I'm using right now so unfortunately I haven't touched this but I still have a couple months with this in the project <clears throat> and then I have the MAC power hungry eyeshadow palette I have used this 10, 20, 30, no, 26 times, 26 times. That's pretty good. And most of those were in the last two months. So I have mostly been using these bottom two shades here. And then this shade right here, this one is so pretty. Oh, it looks like just boring, bland, beigey bronze, but on the eyes. 
oh my god it's so good it's so good that one is called winsome lose some like winsome like w-i-n-s-o-m-e all one word winsome lose some and oh my gosh it's beautiful um so i will be keeping this and i i'm really excited about that palette and i use it every single day for crease shade blending out my brow bone all that kind of stuff and then i use my pat mcgrath one because i am really trying to get that panned this year and my finger just split it's so dry all right um only three more items to go so we have the coco kind turmeric tonic which is this one right here and you use this on your dark spots now when i first opened this i was like going to town but i feel like it has not like you can see a super dark spot right here it has not done anything like impeccable for me i'm not like wowed by this product it's not so amazing and in all honesty like i don't even want to come finish completing this there's so much product left in here and it just says roll on dark or sorry roll on the blemishes and dark spots and like i'm not gonna do it now but i don't get a lot of blemishes i have one here but like i don't get a lot of blemishes but i have troublesome dark spots and i, I think i'm going to take this out of the project dispose of it because i just don't enjoy it and i would never give this to someone else to use because i've rolled it on my skin and like bits are gonna go in there it's so gross but I think I will get the Murad dark spot treatment. I will definitely allow myself to replace this with that because um, this is something that just will not work for me. I have tried it and tried it for months now and um, it just doesn't do what I need it to do. I still have very apparent dark spots. This one is gone, but it's only kind of gone because like you can kind of kind of see a little bit there. But it's only because of the Murad one that I barely see that one anymore. So that's why I want to get the Murad one. And I feel like this doesn't work for me. So I think it's time to say goodbye to that one, which actually I'm just going to chuck. I'm not even going to bother keeping it. I'm just letting it go. Why hang on to stuff? I'm in the mood this year where I'm like, I don't need, I don't need it. All right, and then we have the Too Faced Pineapple Paradise Duo, which has a like highlighter and a bronzer. And I quote highlighter because it's very dark. It doesn't look that dark in the pan, but when I swatch it, it's, oh, it actually looks really light there. When I did my highlight video, it looked super dark. Now it's looking, oh no, it looks dark there. You can see on my skin, it looks really, really dark there. But the, I guess the reflection off the light was like, wow, it's so light. And no, it's not. It's it's still really dark. So it's absolutely beautiful and it would be great. I need to put hand lotion on. It would be very great for the summertime when I have um, like beautiful brown tanned skin, but I don't have that right now. I'm trying to get it. I'm currently working on it as we speak with tanning drops, but it's not happening. But this bronzer, oh my God, this bronzer is absolutely stunning. So yes, please. I love it. I love Too Faced bronzers. Too Faced, come out with some more radiant bronzers, please, because I will buy them. Last but not least, we have the, um, oh no, we didn't even go over this one, did we? This is not in this project, that's why. <laughs> Look at me, I did an oopsie poopsie. Okay, do you guys watch that spooky pod? or listen to it okay last but not least we have the milani lipstick in the shade 26 nude creme and i'm wearing it right now with a lifter gloss from maybelline in the shade 03 moon or 003 moon and i really want to get through this i'm all, i'm so close i'm so close to getting this done so i will continue doing this project i think until this is completed because in all honesty i don't foresee getting through anything else in the time frame um, of the rest of this project. I, I could potentially get through this, but I could also put this in other projects. So I'm gonna give myself until this is completed and then everything else is going back into my collection. So wish me luck. I wanna see some support down in the comments. Tell me to get that lipstick done because it needs to happen. I hope you guys enjoyed this chaos and this mess. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.